brothers and sisters become imitators of me and watch those who live this way. You can use both us as models as I have told you many times and now say with deepened sadness. Many people live as enemies to the cross. Their lives end with destruction. Their gods their God is their stomach, and they take pride in their disgrace because their thoughts focus on earthly things. Our citizenship is in heaven, where we look forward to a Savior that comes from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will transform our humble bodies so that they are his glorious body. By the power that also makes him able to subject all things to himself. Okay, so that was uh, from the Philippians 3 and of course... That is Paul um, asking us to imitate him. Now, there's a a lot to to imitate there. Um, we're talking about a man who went from being a tax collector, uh, wielding his sword to take money from citizens for the government, and. He discovers the glory that w- is within Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ's teachings and stops being a tax collector and starts preaching the word of God. Now, This becomes important, especially when we look at what's going on today. That we have those who are acting in a in a fashion that is not in accordance with the 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 word that that um, that is printed in our Bibles. We have those who are calling for violence understand that Jesus Christ was a protester he protested against the the the, the power at hand which was the Romans he protested for equality from the Romans for the Jewish people We have a situation today where people are just simply calling for equality. That's all they want is is equality. They want to be seen as human beings. They want laws to be written as though everyone is human. Thus we have slogans like Black Lives Matter. One of the biggest issues in 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 what is in what is actually written in today's laws is and the reason why Black Lives Matters becomes important is not because these people are saying that only their lives should matter at all and their white lives don't matter. Or Latin lives don't matter. It's not about that. What it is really about is that as the laws are written, that only the people of privilege are considered to be human beings. When 
it is written that all people are created equal. There is a underlying thing to that preamble that later on in the text you'll find that it states that certain groups of people are only two-thirds of a person to begin with. So they're not a full person, so therefore the preamble doesn't apply to them. Other countries say that you're not human, therefore you're not a citizen. And if you're not a citizen, you have no rights. Only human beings can be citizens. So we there's this is what becomes important with this particular movement and hashtag and everything that goes along with the movement is what they're really trying to say is I am a human being. God created all of us he created all of his creation in his image and likeness. And not excluding anything. I'm not excluding from the human being all the way down to a micro. Everything was created in the image and likeness of God. Done. We can't exclude any, any single being in that statement. Those who want to exclude, and the the thing is, is once you exclude one thing, where do you stop excluding? And these people would have us exclude as many as possible. They want to make it the most uh, exclusive thing just to be a human being. And that's not what... That isn't what God wrote. That isn't what Jesus preached. The Holy Spirit can fill any living being. When we look at, at, at writings from the Exodus. Where there's a burning bush. That bush was filled with the Holy Spirit. That's why it will appear to be burning to Moses. All of creation is filled with God's Spirit. All of the creation is important. It doesn't matter what the being is. So when we get down to human laws that preside over human beings you can't exclude not a single one person from that species and science should dictate who is part of that species black lives matter they are human beings the same as all of us It is an inclusive club. All are welcome. When we look at the at, at the the kingdom of of heaven, there is no exclusions. It is an inclusive place. All are welcome. So. Since we, we, we have said that we're all human beings, even those who are creating the, the hatred, wielding the guns and shooting innocent people, putting knees and choking people to death, even though we have those people, they are also included. Welcome into the kingdom of of heaven, the kingdom of our of our Savior, the kingdom of our Creator. Now, 
since we are earthbound and we there's no reason for us not to be able to live nicely, comfortably, peacefully, peacefully. There are so many protests out there. People marching. People standing in solidarity. People solidarity, standing in solidarity, knowing that with the virus that is attacking us out there also. Knowing that we're at war with this with this virus. They are still standing in solidarity, marching streets, saying that we all matter. We must remain peaceful. We must remain strong, but peaceful. Our strength is in the nonviolence. Our strength is in preaching what we want to see our laws for our species be. That they be inclusive. We must use our brains, our mouths, and our hands with a pen. And we will win. We have to understand what turn the other cheek really means. It doesn't mean that we turn the other cheek and become complacent. It means that we turn the other cheek in a nonviolent way and stand strong in defiance. Until we are all included. We cannot and must not throw rocks, frozen bottles, or any of those things at attackers. We must stand strong in nonviolence. This is what Jesus Christ did. He was nailed to the cross, arrested, taken, and nailed to a cross for his cause. His cause for human people to all be seen as human people. So that he was nailed to that cross so that we can all stand and say, My brother is included. There are people out there that want to say, well, we don't want those people. We must include those people. We must open our hearts with love and include everyone. So, let's pray on this. Lord, help us open our hearts. Open to everyone. It doesn't matter what they look like. Open our hearts to all. So that we all can stand together as we walk into through your gates into the kingdom of heaven. You sent your son to save us. To save us in a way that we would include everyone so that we know that we must love all. It is hard for us. It is hard for us because we we do not truly understand your infinite love. Help us to understand it so that we can spread infinite love without conditions. 
help us to follow in your way to include everyone in our hearts all beings great and small we pray for the strength to follow this path and so that we will know that it is true. Amen.